Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening, welcome to South Asia Newsline. I am Uzma Jafri. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday, the 17th of March. India reports third coronavirus death in Maharashtra. Total cases count above 125. Political activists protest against land reforms in Gilgit, Baltistan. And Sri Lankan government declares three-day public holiday to contain COVID-19 spread. And now for all the details. India on Tuesday reported its third coronavirus fatality with a 64-year-old man dying in western Mumbai city. Health ministry officials said as the number of positive cases in the country rose to more than 125. In continuation of the travel advisory issued earlier, the government on Tuesday banned the entry of passengers from Afghanistan, Philippines and Malaysia to India with immediate effect. India on Tuesday reported third death due to the novel coronavirus as an elderly patient with COVID-19 infection passed away in western Mumbai city. This is the first death due to the disease from Maharashtra province, which has the highest number of confirmed coronavirus patients at 39 out of a total of 125 plus cases in the country. As efforts to control the spread of coronavirus in South Asia ramped up, Indian government has decided to keep all the public monuments and museums, including the iconic Taj Mahal and Red Fort shut till the end of this month. The Sanskriti Mantralai, the Bharati Pratas Sarishan, has made this decision that all the countries of the country, because there are many countries of the country, and the Sangrala, which is closed from the past, is closed from the past, so that people don't come to the other side of the country and can save the people. In continuation of the travel advisory issued earlier, the government on Tuesday also banned the entry of passengers from Afghanistan, Philippines and Malaysia to India with immediate effect, according to an additional travel advisory. This instruction is a temporary measure and shall be enforced till March 31st and will be reviewed subsequently. The government has also banned the entry of passengers from European Union countries Turkey and the UK from March 18 till March 31st on Monday. India's Supreme Court on Tuesday ordered the centre to ensure that women officers are given permanent commission in the Indian Navy. The top court said all terms of appointments of women officers shall be same as their male counterparts. India's Supreme Court on Tuesday ordered that both male and female officers should be treated equally while granting permanent commission to women officers in the Indian Navy. The Apex Court pointed that there cannot be gender discrimination in granting permanent commission to women officers in the Navy after the statutory bar was lifted by the centre to allow entry of women. It directed the centre to grant permanent commission within three months with increments to all women officers who opt for it. Which stereotypes cannot stand in the face of the constitutional guarantees which are available to women and they have allowed permanent commission to all women officers. The judgment follows a verdict by the Apex Court in February this year in favour of granting permanent commission for women in the Indian Army. A permanent commission entitles an officer to serve in the Navy till he or she retires, unlike short service commission, which is currently for 10 to 14 years. In news from Pakistan, Pakistan on Tuesday reported more than 190 coronavirus cases after a sharp increase was reported among people who had recently returned to the country from Iran via the Taftan border. The total number of confirmed cases in Sindh surged to 155. The total number of cases of coronavirus in Pakistan shot up to more than 190 on Tuesday with highest tally of 155 cases of deadly virus reported from Sindh province. Spokesperson for the Sindh government, Murtaza Wahab, said 
that so far 119 zareen in sukur city had tested positive while 115 tested negative in addition to this 36 tested positive in the province 34 under treatment and two cured sind province chief minister murad ali shah urged people to adopt voluntary isolation measures terming it the only solution to contain the spread of the infectious virus Local reports suggest that the increase is largely due to the recent inflow of people from Taftan border after a purported quarantine. Taftan, a border town in southwestern Balochistan province, is where Pakistan quarantined hundreds who returned from Iran. According to health officials, most of the new patients had recently returned from neighboring Iran, which has the highest number of cases and deaths after China and Italy. Moving on. Political activists recently held a massive protest against the newly proposed Land Reforms Act by Pakistan in Gilgit Baltistan. They termed it as another move by Islamabad to grab lands of the common public in the illegally occupied territory. Political activists recently held a protest to call for abolition of Pakistan government's newly proposed Land Reforms Act in the illegally occupied region of Gilgit Baltistan. They blamed Pakistan for illegal land acquisition over the years in Gilgit Baltistan and termed the move as a new tool to grab lands owned by the common public. While expressing concern that the plan will be soon discussed in the assembly, the activists warned massive protests if the administration continues with so-called land reforms in the region. Kal mehdi shah tha aaj habib cha habib kya hai aur aainda shah aayega wo in land mafia ke sath milkar awam ke zameenon ko banda baat karega iske hum kat ali yazab nahi denge Pakistan government had earlier acquired swathes of land in Gilgit Baltistan for the construction of multi billion China Pakistan economic corridor or CPEC project The project came as a massive setback for the people in the illegally occupied region as no compensation was paid to them against land acquisition carried out by Pakistan. Brother of former F1 president Dr Najibullah Sadiqullah Rahi has claimed Pakistan is backing the Taliban to topple the elected government in Kabul. US and Afghanistan have for long blamed Pakistan for harboring Taliban leaders and allowing safe havens for attacks against international and Afghan forces. Sadiqullah Rahi, brother of former Afghan president Dr Najibullah has said that Pakistan is backing the Taliban to topple the elected government in Kabul. Sadiqulla said the Afghan peace deal signed recently between the US and Taliban is against the will of the people of Afghanistan and was agreed upon without the participation of the Afghan government who uh, support the Taliban since they came to Afghanistan political environment or in political life of Afghanistan people they are the militia of uh, military militia of uh, ISI the intelligence service of uh, Pakistan and they supported them in uh, that's why indirectly if i said they are representing uh, the pakistani um, military will US and Taliban have for long blamed Pakistan for harboring Taliban leaders and allowing safe havens for attacks against international and afghan forces the february 29 us taliban agreement has laid out a timetable for withdrawal of the us troops from afghanistan however still the taliban and the afghan government are yet to agree on some clauses in the deal including release of prisoners from both sides Sri Lanka has announced 3 days of public holidays in a bid to prevent the spread of novel coronavirus as the positive cases have climbed to 29. The island nation has stepped up its efforts against the deadly virus asking only essential businesses to operate. Sri Lankan government has declared 3 day public holidays from Tuesday to contain the spread of novel coronavirus. as total number of confirmed cases rose to 29 in the country on monday the government declared the three holidays asking all non essential businesses not to operate on march 17th 18th and 19th 
while asking some key government services and private businesses in banking, food transport and distribution to operate. On Monday, Sri Lanka's confirmed coronavirus patients jumped from 18 to 29 patients. There were 203 persons under investigations at 18 hospitals as of Monday, according to local media reports. Following the surge in infected cases, Sri Lankan government has also declared Monday as a holiday to carry out sanitization operations nationwide. The country has banned travelers from Europe, Italy, Iran and South Korea, while Sri Lankans arriving from those countries are required to be in quarantine. Political parties in Sri Lanka have also called for upcoming elections in April to be halted. The government, in collaboration with the private institute, is providing vocational training to youth in motor mechanics and automobiles in Srinagar city of India's Jammu and Kashmir. Youth undertaking the training said platforms like such help them learn new skills that will make them employment ready. A private institute in collaboration with government is providing vocational training to youth in motor mechanics and automobiles in Srinagar city of India's Jammu and Kashmir. At the Kashmir Motors Technical Training Institute, trainees are taught how to fix engine issues and what to do with an accidental vehicle. Youth undertaking the training said, platform like such helps them learn new skills that will make them employment ready. Some trainees even said, that they can set up business upon completion of the training. So, we have such benefits from here that we can start our own business today or get a job here. And I am inviting new youngsters to join so that they can join the Sickle Development Program and get the benefits of it. Training programs like such work in line with Indian government's National Skill Development Agency initiative that aims to regulate and coordinate all the workforce skills development programs. यहाँ पे हम पहले तो हम इनको सर्विस का सारा सा दिखाते हैं कि क्या क्या इसमें आता है मोबाइल कैसे चेंज करना है फिल्टर का कब टाइम होता है चेंज करने का और कोई फॉल्ट वॉल्ट आ जाता है उसमें कैसे प्रॉब्लम में निकलना है द गवर्नमेंट इन एसोसिएशन विद वेरियस प्राइवेट इंस्टीट्यूट्स हैव बिन प्रोवाइडिंग स्किल डिवेलपमेंट ट्रेनिंग सो दैट द यूथ इन द रीजन बिकम सेल्फ रिलायंट Women gathered and took out a procession in India's northwestern Jodhpur city as part of the Hindu festival of Gangaur on Monday. The 16-day-long festival celebrates the arrival of spring and is marked by singing folk songs and offering special prayers. Women dressed in traditional attires gathered and sang folk songs and took out a procession in Jodhpur city of India's northwestern Rajasthan province on Monday as part of festivities of the Hindu festival of Gangaur. The word Gangaur is an amalgamation of the names Gan, meaning Hindu god of destruction Shiva, and Gaur, meaning Lord Shiva's consort, Gauri or Parvati. According to the tradition, married women worship Gangaur for the well-being of their families and long life of their husbands during the 16-day long festivities. गणगौर मतलब गण मतलब शिवजी और गौर मतलब पार्वती इनकी पूजा होती है आज हम यहाँ से गोल्डा लेने यानी कि ईश्वर जी को लेने आए हैं The 16 day long period of special prayers will conclude on March 27 this year The Gangaur festival is also a grand affair in parts of Haryana Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat provinces Well that's the way it was in South Asia this evening before we conclude the top stories once again India reports third coronavirus death in Maharashtra. Total cases count above 125. Political activists protest against land reforms in Gilgit, Baltistan. And Sri Lankan government declares three-day public holiday to contain COVID-19 spread. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night.